Hello and welcome back properly to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Local Chronicles where we are finally here for episode, what, episode 4 or 5? I can't remember. Uh, I probably should have checked. Um, but yeah, so I'm actually, I've, I forgot to record this at the beginning of the day because I rushed to get my bus into town to meet up with people and I just realised how bad my psoriasis is. Uh, which is what this and this is, so I'm going to use my spray now in a second. Um, so, what deck am I bringing? Well, I'm kind of torn. I'm kind of torn. You see, I want to bring, uh, you know, Vanquish Soul. However, I'm still missing quite a few cards. Now, I can replace some of them, but the key cards that I need and I was hoping would arrive... Um, was the Unchained Traps, you know, uh, Chamber and Escape. Unfortunately, they did not arrive. Now, I probably could get away with it, but then again, at the same time, my Unchained Engine would be basically dead without having those. So I could run the risk, and I probably will bring Vanquish Soul with me, just in case I can get uh, my hands on the uh, two of the traps, or even just one of one of each would be enough. Um, and then I can Frankenstein the deck uh, to be able to play it. If not, then this will probably be the last time I bring Galaxy Eyes with me. Um, because then, come next week, I should have what I need, most of what I need, um, for Vanquish Souls to start actually properly bringing it with me. Um, so, yeah, with that being said, um, enjoy the rest of the vlog. Smile for the camera. Mm. Oh, I've been looking forward to this all fucking day. Okay, it's time to have a look at what I got for entry. I got a large gimmick puppet, gimmick puppet jury doll, as well as large ultimate offering, and OTS 25. Let's see. What I can right. get. Someone pick a number between one and ten. Five. Seven. 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 Eight. Twelve. Three. Seven. Three. Seven. Oh, I said tree before this guy. Oh, easy, boy. I said tree before you. Said you, you, got, you gotta open right, it right now. now. I got a that, fucking that fusion tag. One. He got a fusion <laughs> tag, lads. Yeah, but you got to, I was. You seen me? I was filming. I got to film me opening it. <laughs> you film him open it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that? You do a deck profile after and film him, you know. Well, it is. I mean, I could easily get deck profiles. I have two princesses, man. It's fine. Before. Round one, I'm paired against someone who I played with before in Locals. Back then, he was a Scareclaw player. Now he plays Memento, a deck I'm not familiar with. So I lose the die roll and I'm made to go second. He normal summons Memento Darkblade and attempts to use its effect to pop a Memento to special summon one from deck, which I ash. He then activates Memento Fusion using Darkblade on field plus one in hand to Fusion summon Memento Twin Dragon. He then uses its effect to either pop a memento on field or in hand to add two mementos with different names to hand. He pops Twin Dragon to add and on resolution he uses Twin Dragon's other effect. When it's destroyed he can special summon a level 6 or lower memento monster from Grave which he brings back Darkblade. Then, because he controls a memento card, he special summons Memento Tatsu. On res, he uses its other effect to pop a memento card and send memento cards to grave with less than or equal to its original level, so he sends three to grave. One of the cards he sent was Memento Gatic, which activates in grave since it was sent to the graveyard by a memento card effect. It then special summons itself from grave, and then since a monster in his possession was destroyed, he uses Memento Sheep effect to special summon itself. Then he uses its other effect to fusion summon using memento cards on either on field or in hand. He uses all of the mementos on field to bring out Creation King. He uses its effect to send memento cards from either deck or extra deck to grave, sending one from extra deck and two from deck. 
uses Creation King's effect in Grave since he sent a different copy from the extra deck. So he banishes it to add a memento card from deck to hand. He adds the field spell and activates it. He then banishes the fusion spell to pop a monster on field to search a spell. So he adds Bone Party to hand. This then triggers his field spell to target Creation King and special summon one memento monster that is a lower level from either hand or graveyard. So he brings back Anguish, which he then uses her effect to add a memento card from deck to hand adding horned dragon to hand which he then special summons as he has at least three or more mementos in grave he then links into sp little knight and brings back combined creation by shuffling five memento cards with different names into the deck he sets one and proceeds to move to end phase which is when his field spell activates setting fracture dance so i draw for turn and activate reinforcements of the army searching photon trasher to hand he then use combined creations effect to special summon a memento from grave bringing back Creation King. So then I special summon Thrasher and Vanisher and this is where I made a, a bit of a misplay as on res of the special summon of Vanisher he activates Memento Fracture Dance effect and targets my Thrasher to pop it and since he has combined creation he can pop another card. So my misplay I had Hyper Galaxy in my hand so I could have used it as a chain link to target one of my cards that has 2000 or more attack plus one of his monsters that has 2000 or more attack tribute them and bring out Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon from either hand or deck. So that was a misplay on my end. I then normal summon Photon Delta Wing and attempt to use its effect which gets Veilered. So I set Hyper Galaxy and pass. In the end phase, he uses Creation King's effect to pop itself and my set. He then brings back Horn Dragon and draws return. And he enters battle and takes game one. Game two is very quick as I brick very hard. I open Imperm, Galaxy Eyes, Photon Dragon, Photon Sanctuary, Triple Tactics Talent, and Cross Out Designator. So all I do is set the Imperm, as there wasn't really anything I could do. While yes, I could have actually activated Photon Sanctuary to get out Photon Dragon, I don't think I would have lived a turn. Even if I did, my next draw, which I checked after I scooped, was my second talents. I only play two in my deck. So with that, I'm currently X1. Okay, round two is about to start, and I have the buy. So I'm currently 1-1. One, one. Um, so now I've just got to twiddle my thumbs for the next 45 minutes. So, uh... Sure. <laughs> okay, so I'm home now. Um... Yeah, unfortunately, as you've seen, I only really got uh, the first round recorded. Um, and then as, you, as you've as seen, I also got the buy for round two. And then game round three and four, I was paired up against the same two people I'm always paired up against at Locals. And that is uh, Jake and Aaron. Jake being um, the uh, White Forest player, uh, I just opened massively unplayable both games to the point where I just had to concede. Now, granted, game two, I went first and managed to get into Cyber Dragon Infinity. So I had some plays, but he managed to bait out my negations and he book a mooned it. And all I really had left in hand uh, was uh, Nibiru and Afterglow. So he would have ran over Infinity and took the game, game two anyway. So there's no real point in that. Plus as well, as I was on siding, I saw that the three D-shifters that I had uh, sided in, as well as my two other Nibiru, were unfortunately stacked together at the very bottom of my deck. Um, in case you're wondering what I'm opening, I got a new deck box. Um, so, which is, you know, it, it's a cool little one. It was 20 euro for, for this, because uh, I've been wanting a new deck box. Uh, if I can actually learn how to open the, the actual thing. Uh, so I think I just do put that out, uh, do that, and so I can, you know, fit my deck and some dice in there, um, which is good, because uh, cause the three deck boxes I have is this, which is fine, this old Dark Magician one, which holds my main, going to be my future deck, and then this one, this very, very old school one, has aging gear. Um, so then round four, I was paired up against Aaron, who... You know, I have recorded our match, uh, one of our matches before, where he played um, 
Let's see, the first time I went up against him, he played Red Dragon Archfiend. The second time I went up against him, he played Tenpai. This time he was playing Meta, he was playing Fiendsmith Ubel. And at that point, you know, I just didn't really care. I knew there was jack shit I could do against that. So it was a quick 2-0 concede, unfortunately. So as a final hurrah for Galaxy Eyes for the moment, it's kind of sad that it ended um, with the only victory it kind of got was because I had the buy. Um, I, I, like I said at the beginning of the video, I would have loved to have been able to bring this deck, uh, you know, used this deck, but unfortunately I'm still missing a lot of cards. Had I managed to get two each of the traps, I probably could have gotten away with playing it, but unfortunately that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Next week, however, is sneak peek for Rage of the Abyss, which I'll of course be going there. Um, and that will, of course, be the price support uh, as well. And maybe a winner map is happening as well. I'm not 100% sure. All of that is yet to, to be seen. So I will, of course, I should get some of the main cards that I'm waiting for in the in the post so I can get away with, you know, not playing Fenrir until I can get uh, my hands on it. Um, and I think that'll be it. It's just as long as I just don't have, you know, avoid Fenrir, um, I should be, uh, I sh I'll be able to play the deck, you know. Uh, so anyway, I've been rambling. That is going to wrap this up. I'm tired, so I'm either going to go collapse and fall asleep, uh, or I'm going to play some Fallout 3. I'll know when I go in and lie down. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Again, sorry that I could only record one duel. Um, it's just the way that the cookie crumbled this week. Uh, so hopefully next week I can do better with Unchained Vanquish Soul. So uh, I will probably have a deck profile out uh, for this uh, on Friday uh, before Locals. So I'll see you all for that one. I'll record it when I get everything that I need in. But anyway, I'll see you all.